What if you can give your patients a smarter, negative pressure wound therapy option? One that's truly portable, discreet. Say hello to 3M Snap Therapy System. The system combines the simplicity of advanced wound dressings with the proven benefits of negative pressure wound therapy in a discreet design that won't get noticed. Snap therapy is also easy to apply. Before beginning, select the 3M Snap Therapy cartridge and the 3M Snap Dressing Kit you feel is most appropriate for your patient. The 3M Snap Advanced Dressing Kits are available in a variety of sizes, including 10 by 10 centimeters, 15 by 15 centimeters, and the 3M Snap Bridge Dressing Kit. The 3M Snap Securing Hydrocolloid Skin Barrier may be utilized to help create a seal. 3M Snap Therapy straps are available in three sizes. Begin by preparing the wound bed and peri-wound skin per institutional protocol. If necessary, apply a skin protectant to the skin surrounding the wound. Next, cut the foam to fit the size and shape of the wound. Place the foam into the wound cavity, making sure the foam fills the wound cavity and extends above the wound margins. Since this wound is on the plantar surface of the foot, it can be beneficial to use the snap bridge dressing, which positions the port and the tubing away from the wound to minimize the chance of additional pressure points. The best orientation of the dressing is determined so that the bridge portion of the dressing will lie flat on the extremity and the port is located on a non-weight bearing surface. To help create a seal, the snap securing hydrocolloid skin barrier may be utilized. This is a sterile, moldable hydrocolloid ring designed to provide fast and easy sealing on uneven skin surfaces and challenging body contours. Before applying the Snap Securing Hydrocolloid Skin Barrier, be sure the skin is clean and dry. Shape the hydrocolloid to fit around the outside of the patient's wound. Using light pressure, apply the Snap Securing Hydrocolloid Skin Barrier around the wound. Do not place the hydrocolloid directly into the wound. To begin application of the snap bridge dressing, slowly peel away the release liner as you carefully place the snap bridge dressing over the wound. Ensure the center opening of the port is placed directly over the foam interface and carefully apply the dressing over the wound. The dressing should be adhered to at least one centimeter of intact skin to maintain a proper seal. Smooth out the hydrocolloid dressing onto the skin and remove any small creases. Next, remove the side release liners one at a time and carefully press the rest of the hydrocolloid dressing to the skin. Use your hands to smooth out the dressing to ensure an airtight seal to the skin. It is often helpful to hold your warm hands over the dressing to allow the adhesive to properly adhere to the skin. Route the bridge section of the dressing away from the wound in order to mitigate contact pressure at the wound and secure the bridge section to the patient. Cut the tubing to the desired length, ensuring the cut is straight and not at an angle. Fully insert the tube fitting into the tubing. Connect the Snap Therapy cartridge to the tube fitting. To activate the cartridge, press down on the Activation Reset key and pull it out. Reinsert and repeat as needed until an airtight seal is obtained and the red pressure discharge indicator is not visible in the pressure discharge window. With the bridge dressing, the cartridge may need to be reset and reactivated several times to remove excess air from the dressing. The green visual indicator should remain stationary to verify that there are no air leaks and excess air is removed from the system. The Snap Therapy cartridge can be secured to the leg with the Snap Therapy strap. Let's see the physiological effects of negative pressure. The application of negative pressure when delivered by Snap Therapy promotes wound healing through the removal of excess exudate, infectious material, and tissue debris. Snap Therapy is a discreet option for patients and smart choice for you and your patients.